Hello beautiful soul, welcome back to my channel, my name is Maria, it's a pleasure to receive you here with me today for our angel's guidance, our angelic inspiration for next week, the week of the 27th of August through the 2nd of September 2018. So if this is your first time here in my channel, just remember very quickly to go to the subscribe button below, click on the bell right next to it, so you receive notifications whenever I post a new video here in my channel, talking about angels, about spirituality, and bring you some healing as well. So remember to click on the subscribe button below, all right? Good, and before we begin with our angel guidance for next week, I just wanted to remind you that I decided to continue offering the My Angelic Month program where I'm bringing you closer to your angels. It's a work, it's a monthly work, weekly with weekly guidance for yourself, private guidance, and also we, we see during your guidance which archangel is closer to you, is going to be helping you through the following week. And then by doing that, by discovering which archangel is closer with you, by getting your guidance, learning about your energy for the following week, then I make a meditation with that archangel and yourself specifically for you on a weekly basis. It's a wonderful way to get closer to your angels, to start inviting them to your life, to start bringing their love to yourself and to literally and very strongly create this connection with them and feel them present in your life. So if you're interested to join me in the My Angelic Month for the month of September, you can go in the description of my video. I will leave the link there with the full description of how this program works and how you can join me and other beautiful souls that are part of this family that are going through this journey with the angels. Okay, beautiful soul, now let's begin with our angel guidance for next week. It's a beautiful week, the changing of energy. Now the energy is coming back to its place. It's, everything is now bringing us to the new choices, to the things that we decided to change in our lives. And it's a new month as well. So it's all about changes, but in a smoother way, in a very calming way. And for this week, I decided to use the messages from your angels oracle deck. My deck is a little bit old, <laughs> but still it works. There's a lot of energy in this deck. It's beautiful. This is by the Ring Virtue. And we have 44 cards in this deck. It's a wonderful way to get closer to the angels through this deck. Very easy to work with it. So I got the cards right here. I invite you right now to close your eyes for a few, a few seconds, inviting our angels' energy, inviting their love, their light to surround us, to, to get into these cards, touch the cards, and speak through me to bring you the right guidance, to let you understand about the energy for next week, to touch your heart, to make the message resonate with you. Okay, so let's continue shuffling and let's see. Okay, it's here. Which card will come forward? So Monday and Tuesday, we got crystal. Such a beautiful card. Just the word in itself, crystal. The work with crystals are so beautiful. So it says, have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see just yet. Just like I was talking about in the beginning, right? Before we started the guidance with the cards. It's always so wonderful because very often the angels just bring cards to confirm what I just said. And again, they are talking about something new, something very positive, something very beautiful coming for your life that you can't see just yet but understands that the more you move on, the more you put yourself out there, the more you bring yourself into a new life, the clearer you will see that there is something very positive waiting for you. The more you trust, how important it is to trust, to trust the universe, to trust your angels, how important it is to remember that you are a being of light, a being of love, and you have the power to create your life. You have the power to change everything you want. 
So understand, my dear, that this is what faith is about, actually. This is what trust in the divine love, this is what this is about. It's about uh, simply putting yourself out there, moving forward without actually seeing it, seeing things with your physical eyes. Why? Because when you do this leap of faith, when you actually take a step forward into the unknown with your angels, inviting their love, inviting their guidance, inviting their protection, once you put yourself out there in trust, then you will see that everything will start to manifest. You will literally, physically start to see th things coming forward, things happening in your life. But nothing will be dropped right in front of you without your faith, without you trusting, without you knowing deep within yourself that it is possible, that it is already yours, that you can do it, that it, it, it belongs to you already. Okay, my dear, so trust. They want you to understand. Breathe and trust that your angels are there with you and that there is a wonderful future. There is a wonderful uh, new beginning coming for you very soon. And it's going to be great. It's going to be even better than you can imagine. But trust, go, move on with your life, move on with your day, day by day, feeling at peace with yourself, in alignment with yourself, with your heart. This is what's gonna speed up the process of manifestation, of actually clearing the, cutler, the, the clutter from your mind's eyes so you can actually see it, so you can actually start visualizing it and start actually seeing it with your physical eyes, seeing it manifesting in your life. But you have to be moving forward in trust, in calmness, in peace. So remember how important it is to breathe and to let go of the worries, to let go of the fears and simply ask if it's not possible. If you still think, yeah, but it's so hard because of this and that. First of all, that's your ego talking. And second of all, if you're a human being, it's only normal to feel like this sometimes. But the, the work is towards reminding yourself that you are a being of light and everything you want already belongs to you. Invite your angels to touch your heart and to remove these fears, to remove these doubts so you can trust, so you can go on with your life knowing deep within you that there is something beautiful just waiting to come to your life. But you have to bring yourself there. You have to walk through your life to get there. This is not gonna, like I told you, this is not gonna come to you right in front of you and it's gonna be dropped in front of you. You have to put yourself there. You have to bring yourself. You have to align your energy with this thing that you want and understand that you will get it. This is the main message from this card. It is that you will get it. Whatever you've been asking for, whatever you've been dreaming about, trust because you will get it. Okay, my dear, let's move on. Wonderful, I love this card. Beginning, it's a good beginning for the week. Let's move on now for Wednesday and Thursday. Asking them again to touch the cards and let's see what comes forward about the energy for the middle of the week. I'm going, I'm going to continue to shuffle until they tell me oh, it's here. Okay, I got it. All right, wonderful. Grace and Antoinette. So this card says to help you heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion, my dear. This is something deeply transformative when you actually stop judging and you put yourself in the, others, in the other person's shoes. When you try to understand why is that person acting or reacting in that way, in that vibration. With compassion, when you try to understand, when you look, when you try to look at the situation from that person's point of view, from their eyes, with everything they carry within their history, within their soul, then you will start to understand why 
that person is acting that way? Why that person has that kind of personality? So try, again, we're human beings, don't demand from yourself more than you can do, but it is a practice. And try on your daily life for one second not to judge straight away. If someone says something to you, if someone acts in any way, breathe for one second, breathe and tell yourself, how can I look at this differently? How can I see this in a different way? You will see that straight away, it's, it's at the exact time that you tell yourself that. You will feel within you something different. You will feel within you something changed. And you will breathe. You will give yourself time. You will give yourself a few seconds to breathe. Just during this thought, how can I see this differently? And you will see that you will react also in a different way. So this card is about understanding. It's about having compassion towards others. It's, to, it's about you being the light where there is darkness. It's about you bringing love where there is a need for love. If someone is being mean to you or someone is being unfair to you, understand that they are lacking love they are lacking light and if you're watching this video if you're connecting with angels which are the highest vibrational beings of love and light pure love and light they are expressions of the divine energy so if you are here it means that you are already understanding that you are also this being of light and love and because you have more consciousness, try yourself to be the light in that person's life. Okay, my dear, I invite you to breathe and try for one second. Try to see things differently. Try to understand people and situations with a different point of view. If there is anything in your life happening that you cannot understand, ask your angels, show me what is truth here. Show me the truth. Show me how can I see this differently. I'm sorry, I can't. I don't understand. Acknowledge. But ask the angels, show me this person, this situation from your point of view. Help me see this the way you see this. And you will see that, like I told you, it's, it's, it's straight away. You will start to feel differently. Okay, my dear, it's so beautiful. I can be talking about this for so long because this kind of topic about compassion and love and forgiveness touches my heart in such a deep way but anyways let's move on let's get the card for the weekend now friday saturday and sunday let's see what comes forward in this loving energy i'm loving the the energy of this week oh there you go it's this one. Ah, oh, it's two cool wonderful so we got two i knew it oh <laughs> ah, such a perfect combination. We have Archangel Michael and we have Archangel Raphael coming forward for the weekend. My favorite Archangels. I work with them every day. So Michael is telling you, I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. And Raphael. I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer just like me. I love this. My dear, these two archangels are coming forward to give you courage, to move on, to give you strength, to help you heal yourself, to help you understand yourself through love. That's why they were talking about that in the, just in the previous card. The changes will come, the changes will start to happen in your life when you act, when you remind yourself that you are in love. And any reaction, any thought, any feeling 
that is not coming from love, is not real, is not who you are. So these two archangels are coming specifically, especially for you, you watching this video now, to stay with you, to help you heal yourself, heal your heart, let go of the past, so you can move on, so you can have the courage to step into a new life, to make changes, so you feel strong enough to move on, you feel strong enough to do the things that you already know are the best for you. So they are coming to just be with you during this weekend. Invite them, remember to invite Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael to be by your side. Michael in one hand to protect you, to help you feel strong, to give you courage, and Raphael in the other hand to bring you love, kindness, and divine healing. So remember how important it is to be working with them. It's like I told you, for me, these two are one of the easiest archangels to be working with. And they are part of my life on a daily basis. I communicate with them, I connect with them, I invite them to my life every single day. And when you start doing that, you will see, you will see changes happening, beautiful changes, you know, your heart starts to transform. So give yourself a chance to invite them to work with these two beautiful archangels. Okay, my dear beautiful soul, oh my God, I love this week. I love the energy. There's so much love. There's so much light for this wonderful week. I want to thank you, beautiful soul, for joining me once again in our angel guidance for the week. I will come back for you next week with another guidance. I will be bringing you more Reiki. If you have anything you would like me to talk about, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. I will reply to you uh, either through the comments or through a video. Uh, let me know how did the guidance go, if this touched your heart, if you felt. Let me know, I want to know. Let me know if you felt Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael with you during the guidance because they are there, they are with you right now. Okay, beautiful So Remember to go to my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm posting daily guidance there, and also Reiki. I'm very active in the social media platform, so if you want to join me, join more beautiful souls in uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter on a daily basis, you're more than welcome. The link will be in the description. And again, if you want to join me next month for your own connection and guidance, from the angels in the angelic month. I will be so happy. I will receive you with my arms open. Okay, beautiful soul, I'll talk to you soon again. Have a wonderful and blessed week in the company of Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael. Take good care of yourself. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your week. And namaste.